The two new handsome characters that the season 3 is going to give us are Felix and Wayne. We know that Felix is a model, but Wayne? We don't know much about him. And I kind of think that he's the guy behind the red eye killer that possesses people, the one we saw in the season 1 and season 2. <laughs> Now we have the power to change past with Cheng Shongxi and Lu Wang, present with the Lee sibling and future with Lu Xiao, the head guy. <laughs> I'm not sure as to how much story will season 3 cover since it's basically include a low drop of Cheng Shongxi, where we will finally get to know about his parents as they have a trip to Brandon, hence the name Brandon Ark. But it's not that simple, because based on the promos for the Link Clank season 3, there's a lot about punishments for changing time and a warning to not go to Brandon. So in this video, we're diving into these teaser to break down everything we know so far and some theories that I think they will answer in the third season. Let's get into it. In one scene, Felix, the model, is doing a photo shoot and he glitches between different outfits, ending in a pose that becomes an ad at the airport, where we see Chen pulling his suitcase and noticing the ad complimenting the photo. Lu also glares at it, where his glasses reflecting the light. He doesn't seem interested and walks away, with Chen following behind him. As they continue walking, Lu Xiao appears in the background watching them with a smile, his glasses reflecting the light as well. I have to say I like seeing Lu Wang in glasses but it feels a little off for his character. Which makes me wonder if there is a deeper reason behind it. It could be a hint from the writers, especially the way their glasses reflect the light. YouTubers' vivid lines suggest that it might be tied to Lu's ability or the time diving process. And honestly, I think the theory holds weight. Maybe the reflection is a clue that they have used their powers. As for the little trailer, it opens with Lu Xiao threatening an old man with the name Chang Wen Min, pinning him down and accusing him of lying. Lu Xiao makes it clear that things won't go his way. After some glitching effect, we see street scene followed by another glitch showing the time, 2.43 pm. Then there's a shot of the building followed by some, most likely Chen, receiving a photo of it. Next, some text appears saying relevant clues have been found, and we see Chang and Ling arguing. The trailer also teases an argument that shouldn't have happened between two people. After that, there are some numbers and a cryptic message, the past have been changed, but the text cut off there before we could see the rest. We hear Lu Guang saying everything is under control, following by a scene of him following right into the water. The trailer also show more texts about going back in time and starting over. Cheng Chong Shi is seen holding a photo with the phrases like case and father that has gone missing, implying the father could be in Brandon. At this point, blue text appears warning by any means don't let him go to Brandon. This most likely come from Lu Guang as we see him sinking deeper into the water with the photo of Brandon floating around him. Later, a yellow text appears surrounded by some other faces saying return to the past and save everyone. While it's unclear who might say that, but it could be Kua Ling or Cheng Chong Shi. Then red text appear with a message, this is your punishment for changing the past. This could be said by Wayne because his character is seen with red eyes and red hairs. Then we see the back of our main characters and Lu Guang standing in front of a clock-like map that says Brendan. Finally, the text appears that give me goosebumps, saying, even while bearing the sin, I will definitely save you. This leads to the final scene of Lu Guang reaching out toward the light as he drowns. Wins appears asking if the person wants more punishment. In the last shot, Lu wakes up in shock. Breathing heavily, the trailer ends with a notification on his phone about the flight to Brendan, and he says, this time, we must succeed. The trailers are building up to something really big. The glitches that are probably shown how reality is starting to break are glitch because of all the time traveling and changes to the past. Lu Guang reflected glasses and drowning scene that could symbolize that he's struggling with the weight of using his ability and the consequences of messing up with the time. It also seems that Brandon is going to be a critical location. Maybe the place where something huge went wrong in the past and they're trying to fix it. But there's a warning. Don't let him, probably Chen, go back there. Because changing the past again could have terrible consequences. The idea of punishment and messing up with the time is huge in this season. It feels like season 3 is going to be all about dealing with consequences of past mistakes and the price you have to pay for trying to change fate. However, Lu Guang is desperate to save Cheng Shangxi, but he's obviously getting hit with the reality that plays with time isn't so simple. It comes with a lot of pain and punishment. Overall, it looks like the stakes are higher than ever and this season is going to be all about whether they can fix the past without destroying themselves in the process and whether Lu Guang can save Cheng Shangxi without messing up anything. That was all I could get for the trailer. Tell me your wildest theories, take care of yourself, and goodbye. I don't really want to hurt you, but I can't control the pain. If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay. Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change.